Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we shall talk about separability of range for a compact linear operator. Right? So, let's see what is the theorem here. So, here we have the theorem. It says the range RT of a compact linear operator. So, this operator T from X to Y is given to us where X is a normed space, y is also a normed space. So corresponding to this operator t, the range of the operator t is separable. So here we will show that rt that is separable. So for proving the range to be separable, what do we have to show? We have to show that this range of t could be written as union of finitely many countable sets so union of countable sets so that means it would have a subset which is dense in the space right so for that what do we do we consider the ball bn so this is the notation that we use b of n so it is a ball centered at the point zero and having radius n n could be any number so we have different size balls like this so if you have one, so we have ball of radius one and so on, right? So all of these balls, they lie, they lie in our normed space, capital X. Now because T is given to be compact operator, so by definition, the image CN, which is obtained by applying T onto all of these balls, which are obviously bounded. So this thing is relatively compact according to the definition for compact operators. So Cn is relatively compact. Now if Cn is relatively compact and if you remember this theorem, you see if Cn is relatively compact, it is totally bounded and if it is totally bounded, it is separable. So therefore Cn from here is separable, right? So we obtain the set Cn, which is nothing but the image of all the bounded balls, which we have defined like this here. So all of these, they are separable in nature. Now by separability, what do we mean? We mean that we can write all of these Cn into the union of some other elements Dn, right? Because Cn is separable, so we can write this to be countable dense subset Dn such that D could be written as union of Dn and that is also countable. So basically what we are trying to do, we are trying to write T of X which is nothing but the range of the operator T as the union of countable sets over here. If that happens, then we say this thing is separable right so that is the aim here okay so uh, until now we have considered few balls we took their images and we have told that these images they are relatively compact and moreover according to this lemma over here we say the relative compactness of the set cn implies separability of the set cn right now next let us see that if we take any element x from x, the norm of that element has to be finite. So we say this norm is less than equal to n. Why? Because all the elements x, x is what? x is covered by all the balls of this kind. And any element which is present in a ball of this kind would have the distance less than the radius and which is n. So we say all the elements x the, uh, the norm of all the elements x that is nothing but less than n here so this thing hence all of these x they belong to bn with sufficiently large n so we can write every element of x into such balls right consequently we can write all of the x as the union for of all these balls which are infinite in number so if we use this equation and we apply the operator t onto both sides, that means we take the image of this set over here. So what would be that? It would be the image of x. What is x? x is the union of all the bns. So it would be the t of union of all the bns. So basically 
we have written this thing to be like this d of b1 union b2 union b3 and so on up to union bn now because t is linear operator so we can write this to be t of b1 union t of b2 and so on like this up to union t of bn so we can club all these things and we can write this into this form union of t of bn and what was t of bn remember from the first thing that we defined all of these uh, the image of all of these bn that is nothing but cn so we have written t of x to be the union of cn and from the above definition we have proved that all of these cns they are separable in nature so we can write all of these cn as the union of countable dense subset dn such that it would be written like this so if that is the case we can substitute all the dns here instead of the cn so what do we obtain we obtain tx as union of all these cn where uh, the uh, where the, all of these cn could be written as the union of another countable sets so in that sense we say the set d is dense in the range rt and hence we have proved here that the range of the operator t is separable why this is so because we have considered this for some uh, any elementary balls of these kind so i hope you understood this theorem well that is it for this video thank you for watching